Hi, my name's Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm drawing florals inspired by a couple of Bible verses. I'm starting off with the lavender and this cute little heart slate that I got for 150 in the works. I debated whether lavender was a herb or a flower because it's kind of both, but Google called it a flowering plant, so that's good enough for me. One thing I learnt doing this was the paint maybe splattered from the Posca pen when going up the texture of the slate, so if you do this, maybe go down against the grain of the slate. My verse for my slate is Proverbs 3 verse 24 because I wanted a verse in sleep to tie in with the lavender. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. I know I have needed this promise at times, and perhaps it's something you need to hear at the minute with everything going on. I thought this would make a cute little reminder beside my bed. I was doodling some flowers one night and that gave me some ideas for this project. I love drawing the little simple doodle of the lavender. It was really like, relaxing to draw, especially as I couldn't decide what I wanted to draw that night. I wanted to do a couple of different shades of lavender to create a bit of interest, but I ended up using the lighter purple with the darker one because it just didn't show up very well in the dark background. I was quite happy with how this ended up. If I was doing a more complicated design, I might sketch it out with some chalk, but I was happy to tackle this without it. I did try and go around the edge with the pen, but that didn't really show up. I think it would have worked better with a thicker Posca. So next I'm moving on to drawing forget-me-nots, although I'm not sure how much they ended up looking like them in the final design. The verse I chose for this is Isaiah 49 verse 15. Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. I really love this chapter where God speaks to the nation of Israel. From there I paste up my colouring page all together, although I think the busyness of the background maybe ends up taken away from the look of the forget-me-nots, but the message is still, you are not forgotten. I wanted to use my gold pen for the verse, so I used the circle in the middle left blank to go with my gold Posca to write the verse out after. I laid out my blue markers, so I have Crayola Super Tips, Copic Chows, Posca pens and Sharpies to colour up the flowers. I also went in with the colouring pencil later on, but that was kind of annoying since they're so old and the lead kept breaking. I wanted the gold lettering and the yellow to warm the picture up, otherwise it could have looked very cold. 
with so much blue. I think my colouring ended up looking a bit messy, so I probably prefer my first project. Which one did you prefer? There is a lot of flowers I could have created for Bible verses, so I might come back to this. Do you have any suggestions for flowers or verses you'd like to see me draw? I used my gold Faber Castell Pit Artist pen to draw a border around the edge since it seemed to give better coverage than the gold Posca. Thanks for joining me. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and I will see you again next week. Bye!